Hello and welcome back for a new episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 and in this we have finally figured out that we need to go to Dane's Fall and we have to do the quest that has to do with him. I will not be talking much in this episode although I'll be doing a lot of lot of horse riding <laughs> because I uh, I've still not recovered from the throat thing that I mentioned in the last episode yeah. so the commentary will be kept to minimum. There's a lot of things that might happen in this episode because of the fact that this might be a long one so I don't think a lot of talking would be necessary. All right guys, at that note let's go on. interested, feller.
for you here. This is no place for you. Hey there, partner. What do you want from this place? Hello? Come in. sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Aren't you riding on with Rain's fall? I'm moving up. Okay, sir. I think the chief went the other way, sir. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. 
Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. There was no need to harm them. Yeah! Yeah, there's a girl. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay, let's continue on. So back to what you were saying. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Things that bad on a reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. What was I talking about? Ah, many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to seek to resolve matters through peaceful negotiation. War would be futile. Your people are lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. 
I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Whoa. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They've destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Cool. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. There's some lot here they must have used as kindling. There's some whiskey here. More over here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. some drinking okay let's continue on quick mr. Morgan there's someone down there do you have any binoculars Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... 
Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to... France near Kim? Then? No. France is near... is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Where are you from? Me? I'm Polish. From Milwaukee. What's that? So, something's over here. Guess it was nothing. Fellers, over here.
Must be imagining things. What's wrong with this horse? Intruder, stop it! You're done for! Get ready to die! You'll be better ah. soon enough, you bastard! Please tell me you found it. 
Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Looks like that's the end of this episode, and uh, there's a lot of things that happened in this, and we should have not killed a few people in the army camp, I guess. But uh, other than that, look, things look pretty, pretty good. Not sure. We got back the relics that we had to get back, and. We got a few medicines for a cup that we cannot repair because it's freaking tuberculosis. Alright, I think that's that. Let's move on to the next. Uh, we'll meet, meet in the next episode for now. This is Late Monkey Gaming, signing off.